Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to Persona 5 Strikers. Let's carry on where we left off. We have to prove our innocence once again, and we do that by embarking on our Phantom Thief road trip, thanks to Zenkichi Hasegawa recruiting us to examine what's going on with all these jails popping up all across the country. Uh, but first, we need to get ready for our road trip. Then we'll speak with Sojiro, who's got us a nice set of wheels, an RV to be precise. Uh, that we'll travel across the country with. So let's start by examining the TV. Maybe we'll go up to our hideout, see if we can purchase anything, and explore town before we head on out. Stated that they would like to assist in the creation of a world of AI. They have also stated that they would like to put their capital investment towards this as well. Mm. AI, huh? Hard to believe that's a normal thing nowadays. I know, right? I guess we're getting closer and closer to Skynet <laughs> with every passing year. We only just got here, but I guess we won't have time to visit our old haunts for a while. Okay, I guess we can go upstairs then, that's fine. Let's uh, head on outside, we'll visit the other shops around town then. Oh, there is Sojiro, he's waiting for us. Looks like our friends are around town as well, so let's go speak with them. Yo. Ryuji? Hey, I've been waiting for you. I'll have to grab some ramen right now. It'll be at you know where. Let's celebrate for getting the band back together and setting off on this big trip. Oh, uh, I would love to, but not right now. Let me just explore town a little come bit. Come on, man! Oh, come on, dude. All right, let me know if you change your mind. Looks like the uh, second-hand shop is open as well. Hmm. Doesn't look like they have anything that'd be useful on our trip. So you oh, know. really? <laughs> so he finally opened just to, just for us to not be able to go inside. That's okay. Kind of wish so that, so you know, he'd give us my TV or my game console back. On? Can I speak with you? Hello? There you hey. are. I have a feeling life is going to get a lot rougher for Alice, in a bunch of ways. But I know there are people out there who have looked up to her well before she started all this and lost her way. Those people are going to be so pumped when she makes her comeback. That's why I hope she doesn't just give up on her dreams. I mean, yeah, it's definitely an even more uphill battle for Alice now, especially after her confession. Uh, you know, it's, I feel like she's in a worse position than she was when she first started this whole thing, but... Uh, you know, musicians, pop stars, they always make good comebacks, right? Months or years later, so... She definitely has the potential to come back. Uh... You keep at it too, on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've really got out my game too. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to get all sappy right before we leave and everything. I'm really pumped to get to take this trip with everyone. We'd better make the most of it, right? <laughs> Ta-da! I bought a whole bunch of games. Let's play some when we all have the time for it. Oh, a travel game set. That's fantastic. You know, instead of just playing video games, we can play some board games with the crew. Ladies? Hey. We may have to focus our efforts on the case, but I'm still excited for our trip. I'm extra glad I asked for some time off at the company now that all of this has come together. <laughs> I hope we all have a great time. Awesome. Oh, why'd you ask for time off? We could have written this off as like a business trip, you know, you know we claim some expenses. Hmm. Driving something as big as an RV is a first for me. I admit I'm at least a bit nervous, but I'm still looking forward to it. I've wanted to go along on a long, go on a long road trip for some time now. Don't worry, I won't gun it like with Johanna. I uh, don't think you'll be able to anyway. <laughs> it is parked in a tight alleyway, though I don't know where Sojiro has moved it to. <laughs> I guess he found a local parking garage or something. Yusuke! Very well. Isn't this supposed to be a long excursion though? I'd better stock up as best I can. Knowing this guy, he's just going to pack a bunch of peanuts or something. Mm -hmm. Top of mm -hmm. please control him. Make sure he brings some, you know, decent food along. Listen, Inari, you only get 500 yen for snacks for now, okay? Impossible. What? But, but rock salt's not a snack, yes? <laughs> All right, well, looks like she's got a good handle on him. Um, Takemi, I don't suppose you're back. Let's come here again. We didn't have time to say hello either. Well, it's Takemi. I'm sure she's doing well. All right, hmm. Can we venture outside of Yonginjaya? Let's have a look. We certainly can. Here we are at Station mm -hmm. Square. Let's listen to all the grumbling going on. Zealous, maybe. Not that cute. Oh, hope my girlfriend will take me back. Maybe if I let her step on me a bit. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, mm -hmm. more things change, the more they stay the same. Maybe Emma knows where I can get something more breathable. With sweat wicking fabric? Ooh, now we're talking. <laughs> I guess it is summer, and he's still having to wear a jacket and suit. Oof, God, imagine how sweaty you'll get. Phantom Thieves are back. Looks like there's a lot of commotion around town. Strange incidents. Here. 
I knew Alice was doing something sketchy to get that popular. Seems like all the boys in the class are back to normal. Thank goodness. <laughs> well, there we are. Slowly but surely. Hmm? Things are going back to normal. But what about you guys? I hope you paid back your uh, payday loan sharks. Shit, did I really spend that much on Alice? You finally realized? Man, you've always been like this. Once you find a girl you like, you abandon everything else. Well, fine. I'll lend you what you need. Oh gosh. <laughs> there we go. He's digging himself into an even deeper hole. Alright, I think we've grabbed everything that we need. Hey. Let's go hang out with Ryuji at uh, the ramen place. Let's go. We did it! What are we waiting for then? You're gonna go right now? I think you're a little obsessed. Is that a problem? Hey, if you're not doing anything, you should come with. Hmm, I don't know if I want all the calories. Really? Now you're worried about the calories? Yeah, let's go! Well, I guess I'll come along since So is here. Alright, the Shujin Trio is on. Pretty sure there are more of us in the Shujin Trio, but I guess we are all in the same year group. Damn, this shit's the bomb! That's what I'm talking about! Dude, no ramen, no life. <laughs> Your treat, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, th this one's on me for sure. Yeah, yeah. You really love ramen that much? Well, it is good, though. Right? I could eat this forever. Man, eating this reminds me of the original Phantom Thieves, back when it was just us three. What about, <laughs> what about poor Morgana? Hey. You mean us four? I was there too, you know. Yeah, we had that big feast and I named the Phantom Thieves Nomad Souls for some reason. I remember you ate too much and ended up feeling like crap. Yeah. You were the same way! Oh. Sophia, you want hey. some? Hey, show me the ramen. Woo! Hey. So this is what ramen is. Looks good, right? Too bad you can't try it. They got extra large ones too. You won't believe how much stuff they put in. I want to see... What if we feed her ramen in the metaverse? Will that count? Will she taste it then? Oh. Huh? I want to see some extra large ramen. Show her, Ryuji. For real? No way. I, I just had a bowl. So that's the story. You said you could eat it forever. Do it for Sophia. <sighs> way to put me on the spot. Awesome! Fine. Challenge accepted. But I'm taking you guys with me. Hey, boss. We'll take three extra large bowls over here. What? Seriously? Well, here come the calories. Oh dear, he's got that expectant look on his face. Like we're gonna have to finish it. Don't waste it. Oh no. I can't. <laughs> no more. Ugh, gonna puke. Oh god. <laughs> My stomach feels like it's about to burst. Good grief. Are you guys done with your shenanigans? You see that, Sophia? <laughs> Woo! Thank you. I learned a lot from that. That's... Uh, good to hear. <clears throat> uh. I need to lie down. You think they have any hammocks here? You won't be able to get up. You'll be stuck there. You enjoyed ramen to the full extent with An and Ryuji. I don't know if we enjoyed it to the full extent, you know? There's a point where you're full and you keep eating and it's just not good anymore. You typically suffer it when you go to an all-you-can-eat buffet, especially nowadays I've learned it's not about how much you eat, it's about finding that delicate balance, you know, getting your money's worth by eating as much as you can, but not going over the limit where you start feeling sick and you feel like you just wasted the entire experience. Huh, well at least we got to advance our bond. <sighs> Ooh, I definitely gained weight after that. Oh man, easy on the road or else it's all coming back up. Oh dear. Well, I guess uh, I'll double check if there's anything else with these guys. I'm pretty sure there isn't. Otherwise, let's go uh, speak with Sojuro. Hey there. What should we play to kick things off? The game of Strife? Do you know? <gasps> Ooh, what about Jonga? While well, we're moving. Oh <laughs> god. That would actually be pretty intense. Hello there, dedicated woman. You really are dedicated to blocking off my access to Shibuya this way. You hear that, Alice? It's the end for you, wicked witch. <laughs> go get her, Phantom Thieves. Oh, if only you knew we were just down in this cafe. All right, Sojiro, give me the keys. I'll be gutting hey. it. About to roll out. Yeah, see you later. Go. All right. Well, here, take this with you. Hope it does you some good on the trip. Is it a map? Make sure you make enough for everyone. Oh, curry. Pork, onion, rice. 
Well, time for me to pick up your ride. I'll be right back. You give everyone a call and have them meet you here. It's happening! You sure you kid's gonna be okay on your own? We'll be fine. We'll be fine! <laughs> I mean, probably. Take care, boss. Uh, same to you. Be careful out there. Thanks. Well, this is letting Futaba come along. Bye-bye! <laughs> Good luck. Sorry I won't be around to do your dishes all summer! <laughs> Alright, where's the Jonga game? Let's do it. Yeah. Summer vacation, here we come! God, that is such a tight alleyway. I'm so glad Makoto could drive. Hmm. <laughs> Zenkichi, all by yourself? You look unusually serious, Inspector Hasegawa. Kaburagi. There we are. Need to remember that name. Oh, Commissioner Kaburagi. I suppose he is kind of a goofball at times. I really like Zenkichi. He's a really entertaining character. My apologies. I've been short on sleep. I've not been on an undercover case in quite some time. And I, yeah, I do feel like the voice actor's performance definitely contributes to that. Hmm. I wholly understand. Have you liaised with the Phantom Thieves? Affirmative. I've gained their cooperation. Looks like she's in on it too. However, proceedings are touch and go. Some of them are also very quick on the uptake. I mean, we are the Phantom Thieves. We're not a bunch of hooligans who don't know what we're doing, okay? Nevertheless, I guarantee you that I will win them over. We are Shujin alumni, most of us, and I don't know if that counts for anything, given the amount of scandal that school seems to produce. Understood. As expected from someone so dependable. Well, I still owe you for taking me under your wing. Hmm. Well, he is a lot taller than her, so <laughs> he must have had to crouch down pretty hard. I'm happy to do whatever you require. Keep at it until you get to the bottom of this case. But do not get too attached to them. At this point, their arrest is an inevitability. Why am I not surprised? We cannot trust the police. We are thieves, after all. Attached? I haven't been attached to anything in a long time. Oh. Well, damn, now you make me just feel sad for you, Zenkichi. So you say. And how's the girl? Go home. At least every so often. Understood? Is he forgetting to look after his own girl? Ma'am. Hmm. No way she's buying anything about that world. <laughs> no. I mean, you had to see it to believe it yourself. I've got to wring a lead out of him. Don't take it personally, Phantom Thieves. All I want is for this case to be solved. Oh, it's never personal. It's always business. And I'll use you however I have to. <sighs> Just the usual. Oh. There we go. Where have we ended up? Looking forward to this. Yo, where are we now? Looks like we're coming up on Tochigi Prefecture. We've come a pretty long way. I didn't realize we had a uh, a diner set up in the back here. <laughs> Tochigi, hmm? Tochigi is famous for the Niko Toshogu Shrine, dedicated to Tokugawa Ieyasu. Wow. I see Yusuke's been reading on the travel guide. I heard the monkey sculptures there are adorable. I wonder if we'll get to see them. Ooh, I want strawberries! <gasps> Let's go strawberry picking! <laughs> Apparently, Gyoza is pretty big there too. Utsunomi is supposed to be the place for it. See, who needs our Phantom Thief mission when we can just do strawberry picking and whatnot? Hey, that truck is going faster than us. Makoto, I know you said you weren't going to gun it, but please, I do not want to be overtaken by some random truck. You say Gyoza? Oh, hell yeah! We're going to get some, right? <laughs> don't rule out the strawberries. Strawberry picking is always going to be nice. Of all the things to get excited about. Hey, we get to be outdoors. I can work on my tan. Oh, it's understandable. We could all use some time to unwind every now and then. And besides, we've already discussed it. We could just go straight to Hokkaido. But we decided it would be more worthwhile to check out a variety of places rather than just one. Yeah, and I mean, Sophie can always point us to any jails that we encounter along the way. And there might be jails in other cities besides Shibuya and Sapporo. Yeah. Not only that, but the supposed monarch of Sapporo won't even be in town till the 8th. Exactly. We've got some time to kill. A whole week. We have the time. There's no reason we shouldn't make use of it. Let's just not be late. <laughs> Let's take our time. Uh, I guess you have a point. Yes, this is the procrastinator's mantra. <laughs> We've got until the 8th. Who needs to arrive in Hokkaido early? Let's just travel around. Kick back, relax. Wait. 
say we find a jail before then. Does that mean we're sort of hunting for monarchs along the way? Sure, why not? Oh, we're taking the Phantom Thieves to a whole new level. This is starting to feel real badass. Yeah, we are definitely like pawns on the chessboard, you know, being used by Zenkichi to travel across the board. Stopping along the way, maybe, to take down some other pieces, but eventually we'll reach the end and become queens. Well, if there is a jail, I'm sure Sophia will let us know. Leave that to me. I should be able to handle it. I think. I thought she was about to announce one right then, right, th right there. You'd think the AI would be a little more sure of herself. I mean, she's still learning. Yeah, seriously, who or what are you? She's humanity's companion, Ryuji. We've already established this. I'm humanity's companion. <laughs> there she oh. goes singing again. Whoops, skipped over her humming. <laughs> Don't think too hard about it. I'm sure we'll learn more if she sticks around. Yeah, she's not gonna repeat that sentence verbatim for the rest of the game. Surely, right? Isn't that right, Sophia? That's right, Un. Oh, that reminds me, Mako-chan. You've been driving this whole time. Are you doing okay? Yeah, you're alright. I have my license too, so I could always drive if you want. Well, there you go. Well, you just got yours, Haru, <laughs> so I'll try to handle as much of the driving as I can. Okay. Does anyone else have their license? Uh, I don't. I don't, but I used to drive uh, the Monomobile in Memento, so... I mean, I'm somewhat qualified. Sure, there was no traffic down there, but there was a bunch of shadows I had to navigate around. Apologies, I do not. Me neither. I want to get mine soon, though. Do you have one? Oh, I can't lie and say I do. I'm just gonna say, sorry. Well, I guess we did just reach driving age. Yeah. Sorry, Mako-chan. Don't push yourself too hard, okay? Here in New Zealand, when you get your driver's license... Well, it used to be 15, but now it's 16, of course. They raise it after two people who were closing accidents as young folk. I won't. Although we might be taking more breaks. I wouldn't want to put any of us at risk. That's fine. That's fine by me. We want our Makoto to stay nice and well rested. Yeah. So you're going to keep driving Makoto? I think so. For the time being. That sounds difficult. Is there anything I can do to help? Unfortunately not. Well, since you've asked, do you think you could find a place to stop and rest? I mean, physically, you couldn't help, but you can definitely guide us. I could probably use a break. We can have lunch there, too. Okay. I'd be happy to. There's a riverbank up ahead that should be perfect. Great. Are we going to be catching our lunch? Is that it, Sophia? Lunch by a river, huh? Oh man, this is feeling like a real road trip. Oh, boy. There we are. Level 10. I like it. Yo, this spot is perfect. I suppose uh, Sojiro did give me some ingredients. Is, is this even real? I've only ever seen this kind of place online. Oh, well, it's not the same for Tama. You don't get the fresh air and the good view. Seriously. Ugh. And this is the perfect weather for cooking outdoors, too. Why did you all turn around and look at me? Shall we get started, then? Boss gave us some ingredients, didn't he? Yes, us. Not me. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so nice. Cooking lunch with everyone. I'm pretty sure Haru can help me out, right? Master Chef enables the creation of more food all stuff. Alright, <laughs> we'll leave the main course to you. I need to read that a lot faster. Alright. Cooking. At the hideout, you can use ingredients to cook food. These dishes can restore HP and SP or grant buffs, among other powerful effects. You'll be able to cook more dishes as you learn recipes. You can obtain recipes from regional shops or through certain events, so make sure to keep an eye out. Alright, we can make coffee and curry. Well, we can only make curry because this is what I have the ingredients for. A simple dish and the basis of any good curry recipe restores 20 SP to all allies. Short order cook. Achievement unlocked. Perfect. Ooh, something smells great! I think we have a winner! Why? It's not sushi. It's what you're usually after, isn't it? <laughs> Looks pretty good. Alright. I know that smell. That's Sojiro's curry, no doubt! Oh, my stomach! I need... It's coming, it's coming. The rice has been prepared. We're ready whenever. Okay, well... Jeez. Make it sound like a big science experiment. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I could eat this forever. So Makoto's the driver, I'm the chef. What are all you guys doing, huh? I want to see some uh, chores being done. We need to arrange a schedule of sorts. Who's cleaning? Indeed. 
And to be surrounded by nature in all its splendor makes it taste that much better. Is there more? More nature? Uh, yes, <laughs> there is. <laughs> Sorry, Inari. The great phantom thief Futaba just swiped the very last quit. Oh, no. You know, if you look at where Futaba's sprite is and where the curry pot is, you can see steam coming out of Futaba's fire red hair. <laughs> last! Fate! Well, it's not fire red, but you know what I mean. Oh, come on, don't act so depressed. It's not like it's the end of the world. Chill out, man. You're not gonna starve out. You starve to death. I'll make it a no. No need to be sad. I'm not gonna volunteer it so soon. My heart's been doomed to a curryless existence for the time being. Please make more next time. I didn't have enough ingredients. Ah, oh, that was killer. I can't even move. So do I still have the curry that I can take it to the jail, or do we just eat it all? <laughs> I'm full too. How about I pour us some tea and we can all just relax? Man, it's so hot out. I can't imagine having a hot tea on a hot day, you know? It just, oh, it's so, so foreign to me. <laughs> like, wouldn't you be burning up, especially after having hot curry? <laughs> I'm down. Ooh, I guess it's just me. marshmallows later on too? Jeez, you're seriously still thinking about food? Yeah, what happened to calories? Didn't we just have a mountain of ramen? <sighs> what of it? There's always room for sweets. Of course. All right, we'll finish our break with some tea and sweets, then get going. All right. Everyone enjoyed their lunch. I just tell you, like, there's nothing like going on holiday with your friends. Like, there's something about the independence of all, you know, your parents out there, and you're with people, it's not just yourself. It's always fun. I've enjoyed, like, a couple of my trips with my friends. Oh, it's nighttime. I feel like we've been on the road for a while. Where are we now? Where are- uh, I suppose I was gonna say, where are we staying? But no, we're staying in the RV. We're gonna be sleeping on the roof. We'll be entering Sendai soon. We made a lot of stops, but no sign of any jails, huh? Nope. That's a good thing, right? Well, I'm definitely feeling a little more relaxed now. I wouldn't want those things popping up everywhere. Exactly. Then we'd definitely be dungeon crawling our way. Also, it's getting kind of dark. How about we call it a day? Yes, we should decide where we want to stay for tonight. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't we eat first? Uh, what's good in Sendai? As far as local delicacies go, there's always beef tongue. There's plenty of specialty shops around. Beef tongue. I see. Was that like bacon tongue? <laughs> or, you know, <laughs> pork tongue? Nonsense. Delicious as that sounds, we must go to Mount Aoba Park and see the remains of Sendai Castle. We're gonna sleep at a castle? They house a statue of the late Lord Date Masamune. I'd very much like to see the one-eyed dragon for myself. Oh, speak for yourself there, Yusuke. The one-eyed dragon. Uh, I wanna take a bath first. I'm not sleeping in the camp or all sweaty and sticky. Jeez, we're all over the place on this one. Oh boy, we should have arranged this before. Um, well... What should we do? Uh, we'll do it all. I'm a man of the this people. This is where I come in. I'm the leader, after all. I'll appease everyone's requests. Searching. Overnight parking lots. Beef tongue. Date Masamune. And nearby bathhouses. And? Leave it to me. I'll find the most efficient route to everything you've suggested. Oh, fantastic. Wow, you can do all that, Sophia? I like how Sophia's back here and they've got another phone up in the front for the GPS. <laughs> it's nothing special. I'm just doing a wide search and lining up our destinations. We should first head to the parking lot at Mount Alba Park. Then we can walk to the statue of Masum. Huh? What's up? Huh? <gasps> oh no, don't tell me you found a jail. Hmm? What's up? The smell. There might be a jail here. Oh yeah, well, castles used to have jails in the dungeons, you know? Whoa, for real? You can really tell just off that, huh? Looks like we're going to another castle. Are you sure, Sophia? I think so. I can't pinpoint it yet, and that may be because of the distance. But this feels the same as Shibuya. All right. Well, looks like we're going to get in some practice before we hit Hokkaido. Sendai it is. All right, then. We're heading to Sendai. We shouldn't be too much longer. Thought we were going to be taking the break, but nope, we're going straight into the jail. Sendai! Whoa. So, samurai there. 
Here we are. Well, Sophia, can you smell the jail? Yes, I'm sure of it. There's a jail somewhere in this city. Hmm, so we need to find the keyword, of course. So there really are more jails besides the one in Shibuya? So the keyword, and we need to find the person, and we need to friend them, basically. If there's a jail, then something rotten's going on around town. Uh-huh, this quiet, sleepy, idyllic town. Housing a secret. You're right. We'll need to look into that first. And how are we supposed to do that? Sendai's a pretty big city, after all. No, oh, never mind. It's not a quiet, idyllic town. It's a big city. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not very good with my Japan geography. We could check some more of the popular sightseeing spots. We might hear something if there's people around. Great thinking. And what's more, we're right here in Mount Aoba Park, home to the statue of Lord Masamune. Oh, excellent. We can just look for any crazy people around and see what connects them. Dude, you can check out the statue tomorrow! I'm starving! <laughs> Excuse me? There's no guarantee the statue will still be here come sunrise. Yeah, or that we're going to be alive tomorrow, Ryuji. We could die this very evening. A trip is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Once you've set a plan, you must act on it without delay. <laughs> a trip is a once-in-a-lifetime experience? Poor Yusuke. Ah, <sighs> there he goes. I'll never understand that logic of his. By the way, Mako-chan, did you find out if it's okay for us to sleep in the car tonight? Yes, I actually just got confirmation. At least we won't have to worry about finding a place to sleep. Well, at least the girls get to sleep inside. And it looks like there are lots of sightseers here, so we should have plenty of chances to ask around. Should we check out the statue? It's only a short walk from here, right? It's close. Very close. Then let us depart. Lord Masamune awaits. All right, let's go see Lord Masamune pay our respects. Ooh. Fancy. And we got some new music as well. Mm. I like it. So this is Mount Alba Park? I like it. A nice refined little place. It's even got a shrine. All right, let's go check out Date Masamune's statue. It's supposed to be near here. Okay, well, there's the RV. It's noted on the let's map. Go. Everyone's gone ahead. Let's go to the statue. Okay, what else do we have? We got some stores over here that we can purchase some things. Let's or are go. they all closed? Everyone's gone ahead. Okay, let's check the statue out. What do we have? A bunch of posters on it. Interesting. Ooh. Oh, so this is it! This is that Masamune statue Inari was going on and on about. That is a pretty cool statue. He looks so cool. I bet he'd be cutting down shadows left and right if he were in a jail with us. Such remarkable craftsmanship. It's truly the one-eyed dragon in all his glory. I know. Damn. It's so cool. Indeed. I should have expected as much from such an icon. We must come back during the day and... Mm -hmm. Well, come back during the day now? What's up? Uh -oh. the hell? What's all this about? Prince of Nightmares, Volume 1, 20th Reissue Celebration? Well, this seems very suspicious. Reissue Celebration? So they're promoting a book? I doubt they got permission to do this. Maybe it's some kind of prank. What a reprehensible miscreant, putting up such tasteless flyers for their own gain. Hmm, something tells me that he was allowed to put them up. Let's take them down. <laughs> okay. I bet we're gonna get funny looks from people. <sighs> That's better. Well, you happy, Yusuke? Yes. Now that I've seen the great Masamune, my apologies for taking so much of everyone's time. Let's move on. That's no, okay. I'm glad we came. <laughs> All right. That's one item off the list. Next up, Beef Tongue City. <laughs> Let's see if these local flavors are enough to impress a sophisticated palate like mine. Oh, so sophisticated. <laughs> oh, sorry. It might be hard to get in if we bring a cat along. Sorry, you're gonna need to sit in the bag. What? <laughs> oh, oops. <laughs> Sendai, Sekigan, a Gyutan restaurant. Mm. Holy shit, is this for real? Oh man, my cooking can hardly compete. Mm. This meat is so thick, so soft. Damn, that's good. Oh my God, I feel so hungry now. <laughs> Gee, cut it out! You're spitting all over me! 
These guys are just eating all day, every day, and then it's making me hungry for some good food. Uh, I think Yusuke's crying over here. Oh dear. I don't even want to know what his regular diet is like if this is enough to make him cry. Either way, food's delicious. Sorry, person whose sister used to be a prosecutor, now defense lawyer. And you're definitely going to be climbing up academically. Probably have a scholarship. <laughs> hey, let me have some too. Shh, stay in the bag. We don't want to get kicked out. Yusuke's having the time of his life eating this food. I swear, you are the noisiest cat on the planet. Ask him to split some with you. Why do I have to split food with him? Not happening. You heard the dude. Too bad. Just got to make do with the smell. <laughs> don't be such a pig. I'm hungry too, you know. I know, but... Come, or someone else. Not so loud, you idiot! Uh -oh. Is that a cat I hear? Oh god. Oh shit! And she's got a sprite. Am I hearing things? I could have sworn I heard a cat. That's my stomach. It was so. It was so happy to have such delicious food go in. It was starting meowing. No, it's a weird quirk of mine. Oh, uh. Nope, not a real cat at least. Uh, we were just practicing our cat sounds. Oh god, why is Odd the one who has to act? <laughs> <laughs> right, Ryuji? Uh, meow? It's a work in progress. Oh, come on. You're not fooling anyone. <sighs> sounds to me like he's in the bag of the gentleman with the glasses. Oh, that's sweet. Are you going to share? I'll definitely share the cat with you. Here, take him. You and your cat should partake in the finest beef tongue this restaurant has to offer. What? Jay, not so loud. Oops. Sorry, sorry. You're right. If you get thrown out, then no more beef tongue. Yes. By the way, is this your first time having Sendai beef tongue? I should tell you, the oxtail soup's to die for. <laughs> Did you know oxtail soup is packed with collagen? A lot of people seem to think it's good for your skin. Oh, well, that's fascinating. I can see, like, everyone stopped eating except for Yusuke. <laughs> I like that little detail. Look at him. They say it's not as effective when ingested, but there's a fair number of reports that suggest otherwise. Human cognition can be quite misleading. You may think you feel a change when none has occurred. This is the placebo effect and... Uh-huh. Yo, dude, she's just going on and on. I gotta say, the placebo effect is definitely happening and you're hearing things. Does she even notice us talking right now? Even though, of course, that's not what the placebo effect is. <laughs> this overwhelming onslaught of pointless info. We got ourselves a nerd, ladies and gentlemen. What gave that away? The lab coat? Uh, sorry about, you know, the bag thing. Huh? What? Oh, you mean the cat? Don't worry, I won't tell the staff or anything. Thank you. By the way, are you all students? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> if I had to guess, I'd say you're in high school, right? So you'll be taking your college exam soon. Have you decided where you'll apply? Not quite. Oh, forgive me. I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Kuan Ichinose. I work as a researcher over at Toho University. Ichinose? I see. Hey, you guys should come check out the campus. It's way up in the mountains, but it's a lot of fun. Lots of bears this season, too. Right, so we can get mauled. I see. The bears? <laughs> oh, uh, you know, we kind of got something going on already, so we don't exactly got the time. Yeah, well, you know, I was looking at other universities across the country. I see, I see. Yes, well, it's important that you do what you want while you're still young. <laughs> Allow me to impart a little treat till next we meet. I ain't that the truth. What's that? More beef tongue? Ooh, candy. Uh, sure? I don't know if we should be taking candy from strangers. Well then, I've had my fill of beef tongue, so it's probably best if I get going. Farewell, young ones! Bye-bye, <laughs> boomer. She ain't a boomer. So, uh, she was weirdly energetic, huh? Hmm. Well, thankfully, we avoided getting in trouble. We should be grateful she didn't tell on us. Sorry, that was my fault. Yes, now quiet. Let me enjoy the beef tongue. Nah, I got carried away too. 
Sorry, Mona-chan. We'll buy you some sasa kamaboko later. You mean the fish cake on the skewers with that nice layer of jar on top? Oh, I can't wait! Oh gosh, make sure we live up to our promise this time. Nice! Oh my gosh! Oh, his latest work was just perfect. I was up all night reading it. Two nights in a row, if you can believe that. Oh. Speaking of which, I read in a magazine interview that he's going to be at the station today. Oh, there's no way I'm missing that. You mean tonight? All right, let's finish eating. And quietly this time. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. The beef tongue was amazing. Ooh, I'm stuffed. Definitely, we've been eating all day. <laughs> How you can eat five bowls of rice is beyond me. Is your stomach a black hole or something? It must be. Look, if they're offering free refills, then you can bet I'm ordering them. <laughs> Indeed. You can eat the first bowl and focus exclusively on the glistening of the meat. Then the aroma on the next, and so on. Yusuke's perfected this formula. Pretty sure that's just you, dude. Well, I will say the food here certainly is delicious. Yeah, <laughs> good job, Sophia. Well chosen. It was, as they say, a piece of cake. Guess we should leave where we eat up to Sophia now, huh? <laughs> hmm? What's going on over there? Wait until the AI tries to kill us. <laughs> it's gonna take us to some establishment where they serve poisonous food. Your lady says she was just amazing as always. Natsumi-san, over here! Can you please sign my copy? Natsumi-san, it seems you're going to be our next recipient of a calling card. <laughs> Thank you for all your support. Whoa, hold on now. Only one autograph per person, please. Oh, prideful, huh? Oh, my apologies, but could the men please go to the back of the line? Ladies first, you see. <laughs> Who the hell's that? He looks pretty popular. I heard that woman say latest book. Does that mean he's a writer? Oh. 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 Hello there. Are you looking for an autograph as well? Or perhaps a handshake? Huh? <laughs> um. Oh, how terribly rude of me to keep such lovely fans waiting. Please, accept this Whoa. as a token of my apology, yes? Don't worry, I've already signed it. God, <laughs> at least he pulled out a book instead of something else. Um, okay. Listen, uh, we were just passing by. Ah, uh, is that so? It seems I got a little ahead of myself. I think so, you are down on one knee. Prince of Nightmares, by Ango Natsume. Yours truly. Ango Natsume. It's a pleasure. Hmm. Well, it's all yours. Prince of Nightmares. That's the name from those flyers on the Masamune statue. Why, flyers on Masamune statue? Ah, oh, I think I know what happened. That's most likely the work of some of my more zealous fans. I appreciate them promoting my work, but... Mm -hmm. It appears they went overboard somewhat. Honestly, they can be a real handful sometimes. Allow me to apologize on their behalf. In exchange, allow me to offer you a kiss. Wow, okay. Yo, back off, dude. Can't you see you're making her uncomfortable? Seriously, back off. And who are you supposed to be? I uh, can't tell you, otherwise we'd have to steal your heart. I believe I was addressing these lovely young ladies here. I thank you not to interrupt. You're the one who interrupted us first. Mm, sorry, but they're with us. If you got a problem, you can always talk to me. Ooh. <laughs> Do you seriously think you can get away with speaking to me like that? Just did. Try me. <laughs> My, this one's got some backbone, doesn't he? You're the one with a bodyguard behind you, though I suppose we do have the numbers. <laughs> Mr. Natsume. We need to get moving soon. <laughs> well then, it seems I must be going. I've a magazine interview to get to. I'm sure you do. To all those who have read my book, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. You better do that while you still have one. Natsume! I love you! He didn't even want to give you a kiss, delusional fan. Sorry. 
have to buy ten more copies tomorrow to show him just how much I care. He will not give a shit. <laughs> I would even know. I guess she'll just show him the receipt. Who was that man? I don't know if he was some local big shot or whatever, but he sure was pissing me off. Well, Sophia? It was a strange one for sure. But the people around him seemed really happy. Why was that? Probably because their desires are within his grasp. Probably because they're a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> Big red flag. Agree. He wasn't at all deserving of such praise, even in the form of flattery. Are you all right, Haru? Mm-hmm. I was just a little surprised, is all. Why? That someone would want to be with you? You don't need to be surprised about that. You're a sweetheart. How did jerk like him get so popular? It doesn't make any sense. Hmm. There might be something else going on here. He could even be changing people's hearts. <sighs> We've got a rival thief. You mean, he's the monarch of the Sendai Jail? It's just one possibility. No, I, I think you might be onto something. If he's the monarch, then everything else totally makes sense. That's what I'm thinking. We need to look into this. Huh. I got my laptop back at the RV. Should be able to dig something up from there. Cool. Hmm. That Ango Natsume. We may not have any evidence of him being a monarch yet, but he sure is fishy. Let's get back to the camper. We should work out how we want to gather intel on him. Then we can go from there. All right. Damn, look at this place. It is happening. All right, Futabo, what do you got for us? Let's have a look. All right, let's go over what we know so far. Looks like she's claimed that, top bunk. Sophia, you can confirm there's a jail here, correct? The smell got a lot stronger once we entered the city. So yes, I'm sure of it. Okay. And the man we met earlier, his name was Ango Natsume? I just did a quick search on him. Here's what came up. Ango Natsume, grandson to renowned writer Sogo Natsume. Currently a successful light novel author. Which what, Ango or Sogo? Says the guy kicked off his career with his debut work, Prince of Nightmares, which won the grand prize in the Sokaisha Awards. Kissing Ango? This thing's selling stupidly well. It sold a million copies alone. Wow. A million? That's kind of nuts, right? Yep, considering people... Oh, well, I don't want to, you know, make a generalization, but I'm pretty sure people don't buy books as much anymore as they used to. Especially physical copies, right? They'll purchase it on a Kindle, maybe. It's a bestseller. Yeah, for someone's debut to hit numbers like that is nothing short of a miracle. Mm-hmm. I checked social media, and, well, this whole thing is kind of bizarre. Natsume's fans are probably going on some kind of rampage, right? There's a rumor that some people got beat within an inch of their lives, just because they were sort of dressed like Natsume's characters. Wait, really? Right. But the worst part is that no one stepped in to stop them. In fact, the attackers were praised for what they did. For beating up people who dressing up like characters from his novel? These are likely the same kinds of people who defile Masamune's statue with flyers. They clearly lack self-restraint. Do they feel like they're disrespecting his work or something? The fans at the station seemed really passionate too. It was almost like they were part of a cult. Hmm. I'm checking some of the online forums, and it looks like there's about a hundred threads created about this dude almost every day. What are they saying? And they're all positive. Not only that, but all of these IP addresses are from Sendai. <laughs> That's crazy suspicious. This is definitely our guy then, right? Either he's captured the hearts of everyone here in Sendai, or he's got his troll farm here. <laughs> his bot farm in Sendai. Can't be too sure. I don't know why I'm so hesitant. That's true. We haven't determined his abilities as a writer yet. Right, are we gonna read it and see if we don't if we don't get infatuated by what he's written? If he really is just some freakishly talented writer, then the jail here has nothing to do with him. And he earned all that praise, right? That's also suspicious. Surely we could just check it out, right? But there's still a chance he's our monarch too, ain't there? A big chance. That's what we're gonna find out. Tomorrow, we'll go into town and see what intel we can dig up. If he's the monarch, and there's a good chance we'll run into some victims who've had their hearts changed, just like in Shibuya. Sounds good. Oh yeah, we should probably let Inspector Gramps know too, huh? Inspector Gramps. Good idea. He might be able to give us some other clues too. Cool. Okay, well, I guess we should all probably hit the hay. We've got a busy day tomorrow. All right. 
Where are we sleeping? So... Up there? God damn, that seems dangerous. Why the hell are we sleeping up top? Might as well be sleeping outside. Ain't it gonna be cramped? We are sleeping outside, in a way. <laughs> There's nothing we can do. There isn't enough room in the car. Besides, it's not as bad as you say. I'm sure we'll be fine, I think. Back when there were more students at the Atelier, it was quite normal for us to sleep huddled together due to lack of space. Yeah, you know, it'll be like prison in the Philippines. <laughs> Man, you always keep cool in the weirdest possible way. You know that? Oh, God. Come on, guys, are we really just gonna call it a night? What do you want to do? You want to sleep up in the tree? You're more than welcome to. Shouldn't we, like... I'll be playing cards till super late or stargazing or something? I Normally we would, but we've got a busy day tomorrow, unfortunately. Ain't that the kind of shit we're supposed to do on a big trip like this? Otherwise, uh, you know, even if we do have a busy day tomorrow, I still kind of want to hang out with the guys. No, sleep is not fun. I mean, it is fun, but, you know, <laughs> we can do stuff. Just go with it. <sighs> sure, whatever. But, I mean, come on, dude. Something ain't right here. Forget it, Ryuji. We're up early tomorrow anyway, so you'd better get some rest. Let's start being responsible. Man, it's gonna be hot as hell with three of us and Morgana, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Very true. That fur certainly won't help things either. Oh, what do you want from me? I can't help that I'm a cat. Not that I'm actually a cat, though. Well, can't you sleep in the RV? You are a cat. Oh. Guys! Shut up! What? You guys already gone to bed! Bloody hell! Oh, shit. Sorry. We decided to turn in for the night. Mm. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> Wrong. Not like that. Like this. This. <sighs> <laughs> oh, God. Lord have mercy. What? Now Morgana's joining in? I fell asleep to the sound of everyone's peaceful breathing. <laughs> peaceful breathing? Yusuke sounded like he was trapped somewhere. Alright. First of August. I feel like we should have played until I was completely awesome. dead and about to pass out. All right, made it to Sendai Station. Let's score some leads on that smug bastard. Aww. Sheesh, take it down a notch, dude. You're bouncier than a grade schooler on summer vacation. Are you all right, Futaba? Are you not a morning person? I'm not. Definitely not. I didn't sleep much last night. I can't get comfy without my usual pillow. Hmm. Well, it was our first night sleeping in the RV, so I suppose it's no surprise. You'll get used to it over time, I'm sure. The station is really busy for a weekday. Maybe because everyone's out from school. Hmm. The shopping arcade is only a short walk away. The Tanabata Festival decorations are apparently a popular attraction for sightseers. Oh, I see. Sendai's Tanabata Festival is coming up soon. Seems there's plenty of shops to draw a crowd. Perhaps we should try asking around over there. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do the same thing we did with Alice. Let's meet up again once we've found something. Looks like we've got some intel gathering. Where do we start? Quite a lot of people around. Okay. Let's get a move on. Begin investigation. <laughs> 